What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another training guide. Today we are taking a look at five star nominating contract Joe Felix. I think one of the best free players that they have ever released in this game. He's a monster man. He plays way above his stats even though he is a 95, 96 overall player. And this is what he's all about. Speed, power, really good finishing up top, really calm and collected up top with a lot of player skills. We're going to show you the ideal training guide for two different play styles with Felix. Let's get right into it. All right, so as I showed in the clip, lads, I bought Felix with my five-star nominating contract, and I think he is genuinely one of the best five-stars that they have released. Declan Rice, obviously, is there as well. We have Rudiger way back with eFootball 2022 at the start and eFootball 2023. Timber was there as well. There's been a lot of good players. This is the player transfers nominating contract. You can see Jorginho. You can see a couple of other players that are either four-star or five-star. I think Felix is just an instant buy. If you haven't bought him, I would definitely 100% check him out, even above Summer. I know Summer is a fantastic keeper, but Felix, even though there's a lot of really good AMFs or SS in the game, I think Felix has something special about him, right? So I did sign him on a live stream. We played with him. I was blown away with him. I would put him on par with Simmons, but I actually think he's probably better than Simmons because of the finishing and because of the levels that you can train him up and the fact that he's got such brilliant motions and brilliant animations that you have him. Um, I think that he's a really, really good player to train up. You have a look at the player skills there. You have a look at his positioning. You have a look at his style. You have a look at everything that he does on the pitch. And you'll notice straight away, lads, the ball just sticks to his foot. Even with comparing him against similar players that have stats that are better ball control or tight possession, this guy just seems the ball seems to be a magnet towards him, right? Now, when we were training him up, and I'll get into the actual training guide in a second. It's only a short video anyway. Um, we do end up spending, I think it's around 75,000 trainer uh, progression points, right? Which is a lot. If you haven't got uh, a lot of trainer points, it is a big investment in a player um, that you're going to be having where you might have a lot of other AMFs. Now, do I recommend him above the likes of Messi, the likes of Neymar? Like, you know, if you were lucky enough to get Nakunko back in the day when he was still in the database and still in the game in eFootball 2023, I think it's hard to say that because obviously Felix is a slightly different player, but he's free and you can get him after only 15 games of playing the match pass, whether you're playing against Sim or you're playing against the, you know, the matches online or whatever you're playing. You have 15 matches and you have him. And for a free player, I think that's what pushes him above and beyond with this training guide. Now, I am working on a full review for Felix. This is a training guide. I just wanted to touch on a lot of the stuff there. This video will be part of my review as well. And we've got two versions of him. So that is the first version of him there. That is going to be a shooting centric kind of attack and midfielder you saw. That is how I built him in the first clip that you saw at the start of this video. You'll see there that he's got nine into shooting, eight into passing, dribbling is high into the 90s as well. But it's all about acceleration and being a very, very, very balanced AMF that you can attack your opponent at all angles and still be able to get the shots in with the one touch pass, the outside curler. You've got every player skill that you could possibly want as well as having that uh, finishing. Now this one, this is the second build of him, right? And this is kind of more of a, a traditional AMF role um, that you're used to playing with. So if you are used to playing with the likes of Messi, the likes of Mount um, or somebody like that, I would go with the first build where you're going to get a bit of shooting, you're going to get a bit of everything. Whereas with this one, it's all about having that ball control, dribbling and tight possession and then the acceleration. So instead of shooting and passing with this one, you're going to be, or sorry, instead of shooting and kind of breaking uh, your opponent from multiple ways, you're going to be very central with this. So if you play quick counter, you play long ball counter, you play centrally through the middle, if you play one touch pass, you can bring a lot of players into this with touch and goals and you can also um, keep your opponent honest by like little lofted balls in through the top. Uh, true balls are extremely overpowered in V2.4. Um, it causes a lot of confusion and obviously, you know, when the passing lane is freed up, you'll be able to just slot in with Joe Felix here. Now, he only goes to a 94 with this build, but I think if you are a pass first AMF uh, and looking for that or a pass first player with an AMF, I think he's the way to go. So that is the two versions of Joe Felix, let me know what you think of this guy, but trust me, lads, if you are looking for a top-class game-changing player, he's your man. And I'll be back with my review quite soon. We could have a 10 out of 10 on our hands here, but we'll see. All right, lads, don't forget to subscribe. I'll be back later. Peace.